know how life works? Do you really want to know how life works? Why, my nephew Tom will one day have a daughter. I believe that Thomas will have a daughter and that will be Jackie. Because I think Thomas was her, gar her guardian or something. When Jackie was dying, Thomas was the watcher or something. He had something to do with um, it. No, of, of actually, <laughs> not, not something to do with Tom, <laughs> My nephew Thomas and Jackie were very close, very good friends. Very, they, they, they were very close. I think Tom was the um, solicitor or something. Something to do with, with Jackie's will and all that sort of stuff, or executor, something like that, I don't know. But then anyway, Jackie and Tom were actually very close, especially when Jackie was dying, sort of thing. So I think Jackie would probably be Tom's daughter. When Tom has a daughter, my nephew Tom, when Tom has a daughter, it will be Jackie, I, I believe. In fact, I know. It will be Jackie if he has a daughter. That'd be a good middle name, a good middle name, Jackie, if you have a daughter, Tom. That's a prophecy. How about that? I'll give another prophecy. I believe that sometime in the future, my niece, uh, one of my nieces, I've got two nieces, Mill and uh, I've got two nieces, Millie and uh, I'm telling this for Phoebe, and I've got two nephews, uh, Thomas and Daniel. And um, yeah, anyway, anyway, one day um, in about oh, I don't know, ten years or so, she's only about thirteen. Phoebe's only about 13, but in about 10 years or so, she will have a baby, and that will be a boy, and that will be my dad, that will be granddad. <laughs> Seriously, Phoebe will have a baby, and that will be her granddad. She'll have a baby boy, and that will be granddad, someone, Donald, baby. Or well, not Donald, someone else, actually, she'll have a If she's married, she'll have another name. Though. It's a weird one, isn't it? Names. Anyway, now I was talking about, I was going to think about um, the pride thing. I went to gay pride on, sorry, something else coming off me, something completely different. It's something completely different. Now, now something completely different. Um, I went to Pride March, which I, I put my, left my beer in that room. Hold on. Oh, but anyway, I went to the Pride March on Saturday, maybe it was Saturday, um, 8th of uh, July. I, I, went to, I, went, I went to the gay pride festival thingy, gay pride thingy. I got there and, I said, and there was, there was um, a road, the roads, were split in two. The roads were split in two. Half the road, um, this is the silly thing. The road was the roads were split in two. You had half the roads for the um, uh, parade, yeah, and you had half the road split for the um, uh, everybody else, like um, all the other gays, and um, um, and the um, spectators, I suppose, whatever. Silly thing is, half. The, the road was, was crowded with spectators, right, yeah? You know, all the other gays watching the parade sort of thing. And on the other half of the road was the parade. And they said to me, you're not allowed to march this year. I said, what? You're not allowed to march in gay pride? I said, what? And that's the only reason I come here. Sorry, mate, I I'm here for the gay pride march, right? And I want to march in the parade so I can make a film. Like, so I thought uh, I'd get in the, in the parade and make a film in the parade. I said, no, sorry, Bill, you're not allowed to march. I said, why? There's too many people, they said. But half the road is split in two. You got, the road is split in two anyway, yeah? You got half the road for the fucking parade, yeah? Half the road for the spectators. So you got crowds of people trying to watch the parade but they can't because there's too many people there and you can't see over their heads and you can't really see the parade because there's so many people in the crowd that no one could see the fucking parade because you were fucking, um, we couldn't watch the parade very well because there were so many heads in front of the parade because there was just crowds of people in it. Like, yeah, I walked up and down a couple of times. I don't know if you noticed me. I doubt it. <coughs> <coughs> Anyway, so anyway, yeah, I, I, I walked up and down a bit and, and sort of like, and I couldn't, and the parade started and it came and, it, and, and I thought, I want to walk in the parade, that's why I came for the march, Can I, we're not allowed to march, there's too many people. Yeah, but half the road is, is full of fucking spectators. If you take the fucking barrier away, if you took that fucking barrier in the middle of the road, if you took that away, 
then both sides of the road could march. Then everybody in the at Gay Pride could march with with their threat, with you know with their people. Like everyone could march down down the streets because you sort of like s split it in half. Stupid cunts. So that you know we weren't allowed to march because there's too many people. But if you took the other barrier away, people could all march together. Everyone could march in the same direction. But there was, you know, you were watching these floats go by and there's half, I can't see a fucking thing because there's so many people in front of me. So I thought to myself, fuck this for a game of soldiers, I'm going home. I said, seriously, man, if I can't fucking march in the march, then fuck this. What's the point of going to Gay Pride if you're not allowed to walk in the bloody march? The whole point of going to Gay Pride is to march in a long, long line of people. That was the whole fucking point, wasn't it? To march in a line of people through London? Do you believe we had permission in the beginning? Of course we fucking didn't. We marched whether they liked it or not. It was a protest march in the beginning. It's a protest march. That's the whole point of it. Was marching arm in arm down the street as many people as possible. But they said, no, there's no, there's too many people and you're not allowed to march together down the street anymore. You're not allowed to march arm in arm down the fucking street anymore because, you, because you've got a little parade and all that. But you're not allowed to join the parade because too many people. I thought, you fucking cunts. What's the fucking point then? The whole point of a march is of gay pride. The whole point of it was to march arm in arm together. And if you're in your wheelchairs, push your wheelchairs around again. Like we always did. Like they always did. You've destroyed pride. Won't even let us fucking march. Why? Because there's too many people. Well, how many people do you think are in the bloody crowd, you twat? How many people do you think are in the crowd? Take down the barriers. Then you people could walk together in a whole road, the one road, not two roads, your road, mine, our world, road, like, and you're not allowed to walk down the road together, arm in arm, anymore. Because there's too many of you, apparently. What a load of bollocks. I went to that fucking Pride March, then I heard that song. Reach for the st- I thought, fuck it, I'm going home. Fuck you. What's the point of going to Gay Pride March if you're not allowed to march, if you're not allowed to walk with your brothers and your sisters, if you're not allowed to walk with your brothers and your sisters, if you're not allowed to walk down the fucking street together, arm in arm, the whole street and nothing but the street, if you're not even allowed to walk down the street together, arm in arm, the whole street and nothing but the street, if you've got to just watch a parade of fucking... Buses and fucking trucks or whatever, and a few pe few groups of people, and then you're not allowed to join the parade because there's too many of you. Does that make any bloody sense to you? That they close down half the fucking road so that you've got a crowd of fucking a crowd of fucking uh, spectators trying to watch the parade, but they can't really see much because the fact is everyone's on the other side of the road. They're in the middle of the road who are but um, the uh, marchers or whatever, um, you can't really see them because everybody's in front of you and there's so many heads in front of you that you can't really see the parade anyway. And you're thinking to yourself, what the fucking point is there in going to Gay Pride if you're not even allowed to be a part of the march? If you're not allowed to walk together down the same fucking street? If you're not allowed to march arm in arm together, freely, without barriers? Without barriers. If you're not allowed to walk arm in arm down the street, together, all of you, then what the fucking point is there in gay pride?